Hello everyone, it's Lin again, and college has made me not a morning person, and that is why today I'll be bringing you a morning routine at the start of 10 a.m. <laughs> to be frank, I never get up past 8 a.m. now, which is very unfortunate. Usually around 7.50, the sun will wake me up or my needy cat will be clawing at me, begging me to let her out so she can eat food. Good morning. It's currently 10.30 a.m. on a Saturday, so let's have a good day. If it's a weekend, I wake up later and my cat is usually taking up over three quarters of the bed, even though she is a fraction of my size. Thank God, she's so cute. I tolerate it. Then in my sleepy grogginess, I romanticize my life by staring at the beautiful morning light that comes through the east facing windows. Then I put on my glasses and realize it's reality and I can't decide between a thumbs up and a peace sign. You know, my social and work-life balance is deteriorating. Uh, my grades aren't looking too hot, but at least I can say I have a hot girl skincare routine. I'm not gonna do my makeup. Usually, most days, I do a very fast job of doing my makeup. We're talking about five minutes and under. <laughs> Since a lot of days are really long for me, I've been meaning to make a point to put on a base for my eyeshadow makeup. Doing my makeup is so soothing to me now. I used to do makeup out of insecurity, and now I don't wear makeup every single day. On days that I do, I have my routine down to a rhythm. I have my pinky eyeshadows, my blush, my eyeliner. And with my makeup done, we're almost ready to girl boss gaslight gay keep for today, except mine is the gaslight and gay keep. But first, we gotta put on the fit. AKA, time for Lynn to stress about how she will be perceived. Haha. <laughs> Now, for this deliberation, I have to go through every morning, which is semi-stressful. I never really plan out outfits. I usually decide them on the whim the morning of, and I wish I could say that's because I work best under pressure, but really it's just because I'm lazy. I settled on something comfy and autumn appropriate with this plaid green combo. When it comes to simple outfits, I like putting on some jewelry to tie everything together. I've really been obsessed with rings. When Beyonce said put a ring on it, she meant multiple because stacking rings are my new favorite thing. And there you go. I'm ready to go. Okay, the thing is, in morning routine videos I watch, people usually do yoga, some journaling, some meditation. No, your girl hops onto the New York Times crossword puzzle because she's a nerd. I like doing the mini with my friends and my roommates. And speaking of my roommates, this particular morning was the morning before my birthday and they surprised me with breakfast. I did not see this coming, y'all. Yes, those are the Tyler the Creator waffles. And yes, my roommate Maggie might have set off the smoke detector while making bacon, but that is beyond the point. I love them so much. Every morning, I've recently been making Vietnamese coffee because I'm trying to decolonize all aspects of my life. <laughs> my dream is to own a French press, and yes, the French make good coffee, but I'm just saying, Cafe Sada just hits different, y'all. I'm hoping to go to the Asian market to get some real Vietnamese coffee ground soon, but right now, my Keurig Pete's coffee cup will do. American coffee for me is just too sweet and too milky, and Vietnamese coffee is just this nice balance of bitterness and creaminess, so yum yum. I'd usually eat some bland dining hall food for breakfast but all my roommates came together for this beautiful brunch spread i am so grateful for them and before we get started on the day we gotta drink some dihydrogen monoxide aka water i gotta hydrate myself and i gotta hydrate my little plant baby after i get some food and caffeine in me it's time to do some house chores usually this consists of making sure my plants are thriving and also just helping out wherever we need it in the apartment all my roommates are really busy so if i have the time i'll back you. you add so much to the composition. <laughs> Stop it. As strange as Rachel is, she is taking Oreo right now, so please have some mercy on her. And y'all, I did finally cave and buy a Dyson vacuum during the Labor Day sale. My bargain loving Asian ass could not resist. Growing up, my mom always wanted a Dyson vacuum every time we'd pass by one in Costco, but we could never afford it, so being able to own one is pretty cool. Cleaning at the beginning of the day kind of just gets me ready to be productive because my environment very much affects how I study, how I work, even how I rest. And since I do go to college, I do not have the beautiful luxury of having in-unit laundry. <laughs> I love doing laundry yes it's a little bit of a hike and yes the cost for one load of wash and dry is insanely inflated for some reason but y'all you know if i can't make my asian parents proud i can at least make marie kondo proud with my very nicely neatly folded <laughs> rectangles of clothing after laundry i wrap some presents for some upcoming birthdays when it comes to receiving or giving gifts i think i definitely love giving gifts more 
are just the entire process of choosing a present and wrapping it is so nice and also look at the look at the cute kitty then i chilled out on the couch to read but then rachel offered me a sour punch straw thank you rachel i love those things and now i'd like to take some time to talk about the sponsor of today's video skillshare i work with skillshare time and time again because it's still my favorite online learning community they offer thousands of classes for creative and curious people to explore new skills develop existing passions and thrive in your creativity i've taken a few classes on note taking and illustration they also have classes on digital art and creative writing and i'm looking forward to taking this creative writing one by ashley c ford it's called creative personal writing write the real you i'm really excited to expand outside of writing academically and get more into writing for myself skillshare is built for learning meaning that there are no ads they are always launching premium classes so you can stay in tune and follow where your creativity takes you the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare so you can start your creative and learning journey today thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this video and back to the regular broadcast and now let's jump straight on into work i usually am off to attending classes whether it's on zoom or in person by now but on the weekends i am diving into my notion this is where i have all my assignments laid out due dates and i'll check my canvas and my chinese textbook and make sure that everything's inputted so i can keep track of everything do not be fooled however my notion may be neat and pretty but my life and schoolwork certainly is not <laughs> in case you're wondering i am indeed taking chemistry for fun for my science requirement this semester as a non-stem <laughs> major and please enjoy this soothing asmr keyboard clacking sounds as your girl is stressing out over her next chem test yay but if you're wondering when how would your birthday go isn't it the next day it, it went really well my friend surprised me with a morning picnic and i was honestly so surprised that everyone was there i had an inkling you know that something was gonna happen i'm just so happy to be healthy to celebrate my birthday with my friends so close to me and look at this sexy charcuterie board thank you lincoln wow it was so scrumptious i am 20 years old my morning routines are definitely not put together but i'm working on it we all got time to grow you know Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear. 